Disneyland. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about Disney. Um, so yesterday, Disney did announced that they're going to be opening up their parks next month, which is good for us as investors because when you hear that these companies are starting to open up, that tells me that you no know, consumer confidence is starting to build again. Um, one or two things: the people that got laid off at Disney are going to get their jobs back, which means that they're job uh, unemployment is going to go down which is good um, boosting consumer confidence um, just getting the economy back up and rolling so I'm super excited to hear that um, they are taking all the measures to keep people safe in their various parts during the opening and so um, what does that mean for you and me as investors so let's take a look at what happened or talk about what happened to Disney um, during this whole time so when the, um, the COVID thing happened Disney actually took a big hit so they dropped down to under a hundred dollars uh, per share then ever since that they have actually just been around that that price point of uh, 100 and 106 and just going back and forth um, and then when they announced their earnings um, I think two months ago uh, it actually pulled that stock down to under 100 bucks which is when I actually bought um, a ton of Disney ever since it's just um, squeezing up and last week it went up to a hundred and twenty eight dollars and then this week, um, some kind of rejection. I don't know what's happening. Um, there's no major news or whatever, but it's just some rejection. It's down to maybe around 115. So um, if Disney opens up next month and things start rolling, it start employing people again, people start visiting the parks, that tells me that we have seen the bottom of Disney. Um, unless we have like a crazy outbreak of the virus at the park where they can shut it down again um i think the bottom of disney is it's it's past us already so um if you're looking at getting into disney i would say just do a dollar cost average right so right now buy some and see which direction the market is going if the good news comes out and they open up and the price you know it starts to go up you just keep adding and likewise if bad news comes and the price go down you keep adding just make sure that at least um you are if you are interested in disney that um you have a position in it um because again from what i'm seeing from from the way things are going if they can open up people don't go to disney for um, you know to put food on the table unless you work there people that go to Disney to go to the spend money It's luxury. It's leisure. So if people have that confidence have that uh, Ability to go there and find pleasure and enjoy even with um, you know knowing that there's COVID out here um, I think we're heading in the right direction as far as the economy So that is uh, something that we should like, definitely take a look at um, before you actually invest in in Disney if you plan on doing it So um, I have um, you know some my position in Disney um, Again, like I said, I bought it under a hundred dollars um, when their earnings came out the stock actually tanked So that's when I bought it um, So I'm sitting on some profit right now, but where I see Disney at over 160 bucks for the 52 week high I'm not gonna sell I'm just gonna hold on it's a good company um, once they get back on track and reinstate all their dividends I think it's gonna be a great buy for me so I'm gonna I'm, I mean I'm in a position where I don't want to to give back so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this news Disney opening up does that mean that um, we've seen the bottom of Disney or does that mean that or maybe it's just one phase we there's still phase two of COVID coming that might impact us let me know in the comment section and as always guys like share subscribe youtube tells me that 90 percent of you guys watching haven't already subscribed already so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content and as always stay motivated